Should I look at that camera or this camera? Uh, this camera. Okay. Hello and welcome to What We Learned This Week, where we talk about what we learned this week. I'm Ryan Harp. I'm a film and media studies major. I'm Sayla Watkins, and I'm a history major. And I'm Diana Tysinger, and I work at Steely. Great. So, what did we learn this week? Okay, I learned that we have a surprising number of um, expressions in the English language that have a nautical origin. Yes, I saw that video. Did you see the linguistics guy? Yeah. It was so good. And some of them I knew, and some of them I had no idea that they were connected. So um, he used examples like loose cannon was one because that's actually a real problem if your cannon is rolling around your ship. Um, long shot. Um, oh, the other one that I learned subsequently because I got interested in this and nerded out on it a little bit is pipe down. There used to be like a signal where mm. some person on the ship would put a pipe down to signal to everybody that it was time to go below decks and sleep. And so we say pipe down to like be quiet, but it's really like literally they had a pipe that they lowered physically wow. to tell people to be quiet and go to sleep. Yeah, that, That's interesting. that it's, it's always... Like I'm, I'm taking old English right now, so it's it's always interesting to like see, uh, like words we don't think about having like at, extra context, extra meaning embedded in them that's sort of like faded out, and now they're more general. I don't know. Well, like this is what I learned this week. Uh, the most recent thing we read. Uh, in my old English class was Mary of Egypt, which is like a saint biography. And in that text, they use all the time this word midanyard, which literally is like middle earth. Mm. And they just use that to refer to the world. Wow. And Tolkien, he was an Anglo-Saxon scholar, so he studied a lot of Middle English, so that's where, or Old English, that's why he got Middle Earth when he was, like, writing Lord of the Rings. Like, that's where he took that term from. And it made a lot of sense because, you know, if you know anything about Norse mythology, they call the world Midgard, and they're related languages, so the words are very similar. And I just think it's interesting that... Because they used the word Midanyard well after they weren't worshiping that, you know, Germanic pagan religion where that, like, concept where people live as the middle plane comes from. So they were Christian, but they were still using the word because the context had fallen away and they didn't really think of it in that sense anymore, like the nautical yeah. metaphors. And it's also like uh, the days of the week in English, which are, you know, they reference pay, like Thursday is like Thor and Wednesday is like Odin. But, you know, it's, it's similar. It's, I don't know, it's just very similar to what you brought up. Wow. That's really interesting. Um, I don't know what the connection for mine will be. Um, what I learned this week is kind of more experiential. Um, I, like, for the first time I went to an archive that wasn't special collection. So I went to the Rockefeller Library to look through, like, look for a specific archive for a local black history project. I was looking for Mrs. Coleman's diary, which, you know, detailed, like, had a lot of stuff in it, but detailed, like, the kind of white experience during the restoration of Colonial Williamsburg. And there's a lot of interesting stuff in there, but what I thought was, what I thought when I was like looking through this really old diary was how like it doesn't feel old. It's like over a hundred years old, but it's like, I don't know. I just felt like, wow, like the writing, the like the cursive, the language, like it's all kind of like, I mean, you can definitely tell it's like old, but it, I don't know. It just felt like it could have been written like 50 years ago. Yeah. Which I guess when I when like when I think of archives, I think like super old, falling apart, like not like handled with care. And you know, obviously that's the case, but like it was more recent. It felt more recent than I thought it would. That's so true though. Like that like think things from the past sometimes 
they are they're not as archaic or like old seeming as you would expect. Like I get that impression from a lot of the stuff in my old English class. Like even though it's usually a thousand or more years old, a lot of the times the ideas are like just like the way they talk about things is is not as old timey or archaic as you would expect. I mean, the, the language is obviously archaic, but the actual like opinions and and ideas are not always, which is interesting. Yeah, like the the human experience is surprisingly constant. Yeah, and like the nautical stuff, like. You know, when Britain was at, like, its peak of seafaring, you know, dominance, that wasn't even that long ago. But it didn't take long for people to forget Mm -hmm. the connection of all those nautical expressions. I feel like that is sort of what we're touching on, like, how things become archaic or whether they're not as archaic as they seem. Something like that, some sort of connection there. Yeah, how the context kind of gets stripped away, but maybe there's still some enduring utility or uh, lessons to be learned. Yes, that was ama- that was exactly what I was thinking, but I'm, I couldn't say. I'm here to be your approaching final exam time period think thought producer and articulator. Thank you. Translator? That's the word I was looking for. Translator. I also will require a translator because I'm in the approaching the symposium time period. The teaching symposium? Yes, the teaching and learning symposium is happening May 7th. Very cool. I I will try to be there. I have a final that day, but I will be there in spirit. Okay. Feel free to drop in at any time, even if it's just for one session. I I think I will. Yeah. Well, Roy, what do you think? You think we got (laughs) it? You okay. thought it was just okay? You want more? You want a whole second episode? It was good. It was, it was, it was, oh, buddy. He's bored. So he's bored is what he's saying. I want, I, I want some praise. <laughs> okay. We got it. You know what you got to do now? You've got to wind it up. Gotta, okay. That's... This has been What We Learned This Week. I'll see you next week. How's that? Or else. Or else. Wait, no, wait. Oh. Wait, this is the last episode, so should I say oh, something else? Yeah, uh, I'll see you. What, what should I say? I'll, next I'll see you next semester. Is that true? I will be here next semester. Okay. okay. So okay. as okay. long as I don't get fired from Steely, I'll be we on the show. We are still having internal conversations about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> this has been what we learned this week. I will see you next semester. <laughs>